In this section of the Henry Rousseau jungle painting, we're going to be working on our tiger right over here. We're going to need to mix a couple different colors. We're going to need to mix some orange together and some yellow together and make some tints and shades of that orange um, color. And we're also going to need some black to make the lines, but um, we're going to have to do that carefully over the top with um, a detail brush. Um, I'm going to actually put a little black, like I always do right over here on this edge. Just a little bit, don't need a lot. Uh, I'm going to get some white to make my tints. And I'm actually going to get just a little teeny bit of red, because I know I'm going to make some pink for the nose. Okay, I just got some dust there. Blow it off. Alright, so here we go. Um, I'm actually going to do most of the painting for this one with my detail brush, because it's such a small area. If you do want and need a detail brush, by all means, use one, um, because it is hard um, to get this to look right um, if you don't have, if your brush is too big. So here we go, I'm going to take some orange. Now tigers aren't usually orange that orange, usually they're kind of a combination between yellow and orange. They're kind of a yellowy orange, more like, <clears throat> more like this. And then I'm going to add just a little teeny bit of white in to get a lighter orange. Not so much um, white that it's like, you know, peach color, but we want it to be just a little bit more than pure orange. Okay, so here I'm going to paint the edge of my tiger here, right next to my tree. Okay, and if you need to rotate your paper around. Remember paint nicely, neatly, have good brush control. Fill in the spots really well. I'm going to paint the head now and I'm actually going to kind of paint around the eyes the best I can. I'm going to paint right over this line for his head because we're going to go back over that later. And of course I already got a little bit on there. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to switch brushes now over to my detail brush because it's getting kind of getting kind of too close there. As I fill this in, I want the paint to be thick so we don't see too much color behind it. And you can let those um, sharpie lines show through. We're gonna re-sharpie when we're done painting um, but you can let them show through if you need to so you can see where they're supposed to be okay so there's my tiger and paint down here for his bottom jaw. Now I'm going to take some white and a little bit of red and mix myself a pink. A little bit more uh, white there. A pink for the nose. There we go, got a pink for the nose. I'm going to add some black. Okay, it's just pure black. I'm going to add the pure black in for the mouth. Be careful not to get it in your other spots where the paint is. So there's the black for the mouth. And then I'm going to get a little yellow for his eyes and I'm just going to paint the iris part yellow and then I'll leave it for the sharpie at the end and I'll put the black dot on with the sharpie because that'll be easier. Now I'm going to take um, a little bit of brown from my other palette. There's some brown. Okay, I'm going to add some yellow into it. Get a brownish orangish yellow 
and paint his ears. Right here. A little more brown, I think. Okay, like that. And now we're gonna um, add just a little bit more white. I'm gonna wash my brush out because I got too much brown and other colors on there. I'm gonna use some white and this orange. Make a lighter orange and kind of paint the top of his nose. Like that. Use some red orange and paint the sides over here. Add a little more orange on top so it's not so red. Now, I'm going to let that dry. And we'll do the Sharpie with the tiger in our last session when we do the Sharpie, for, we'll do the black lines on his body. And that ends the tiger session.